Howdy, y'all. Joe Hills here, recording as I was doing Nashville, Tennessee. And you can Tennessee that we're in Minecraft 13W47E. And Razzle Frazzle says I'm the best hermit crafter. You see that, Vetches? That's exactly the sort of positive attitude I'm going to need to take you on. It's me versus you versus the world. Oh, wait, no, it's me and the world versus Vetches. So anyway, I explored out that way, which is the North east west northwest in another episode hey Asindra, what i need to do is actually now explore the southwest um and by flying south by southwest over here and so i'm going to actually start putting some torches down and clearing a path just to kind of lighten this up obviously once the sun sets i'm going to retreat along that path but i just kind of want to start establishing like a rough idea of where i'm going and how i got there and every torch we plant along the way is going to help. So, just kind of setting some of this stuff up. We know in general we want to head this way. Oh, that's a big creepy tree. Let's go away from there. So, okay, now we're going to follow our path back, get in bed, and hopefully we will have a full day of exploration ahead of us, as well as a much better lit perimeter. Because, you know... There's nothing worse than a perimeter that's insufficiently non-porous. Like, that at that point, it's just a sieve, and that's, uh, you know, sieve 5 is the good sieve, and the other ones are good too, but like, okay, we're just going to run from that creeper. Bye, creeper. So, ah, I heard a spider. I hope it doesn't fall upon my head. My skull, it is not spider-proof at all. In fact, it's barely like Spider-Man proof. Like, if there was a Spider-Man right now jumping on my head, you guys would be like... Oh no, he made a terrible pun and then jumped on that guy's head. And that guy was Joe Hills. Alrighty. So, let's do the time skip again. Howdy, Pokin Duck. Welcome to the anti vetches army. Home of the Good Burger. Hope you're ready to take orders. Okay, so we just gotta kill that creeper. And that guy. Boom. Thank you. Thank you for shooting me in the face, Skeleton. It's all going according to plan. So am I going to be able to get back out of here? No. No, I won't. Okay. So anyway, what we wanted to do in this episode was to fill in more of our map by continuing to the south-east-west. I've got the map in front of me, and I can't tell east from west. That's really bad. So... Obviously, to the northwest, we found that cool swamp. So I'm not sure what Vetches is going to have in store for us if we go this way. But I'm hoping that it's a little bit, uh, not a zombie. So let's get some torches out and throw those down as we go so that we don't get completely lost. Hey, I see some structures. Oh, that's just a tree. Dang it. Oh, hey, there's wheat in the middle here. This might be important. Is this important somehow? This is the first, like, wheat farm I've found. Let's see if there's something significant about this wheat farm that I should know, because I know nothing about it right now. Let's get some more torches into our inventory here. Yeah, the void fog is no good. So according to the map, we're here now. This is a good area. This is where I want to be. Well, I'm wondering if he just gave us that wheat because that used to be the only way to get seeds in Minecraft. How did I get the seeds? No, I, no, I got them in the uh, chest. There was a chest with seeds. So, maybe there's not... Oh, there's a, there's a box there. Box of seeds. Let's take the box with us so we don't get excited about it again later and then get really disappointed by the empty box. So, which way am I heading now? I'm heading back the way I came. Well, I don't want to just go through the swamp area. Let's try going back this way. And we got to keep an eye on the sun. Oh, that's true. Maybe Vetches didn't expect us to find the monument already. We're not here to reference Hansel and Gretel. We're here to reference Hinkle and Gretel. Hinkle was one of my favorite friends in college. Um, he had braces, and his parents disowned him before he got his braces taken off. And so he removed them while drunk with pliers. And I asked him, I was like, did you, like, Google that to try and figure out how to do it properly? And he's like, well, I did Google it, and everything I found said don't. And so I did it anyway because, you know, no doctor was going to do it. So seriously, kids, don't 
get disowned by your parents while you still have braces because that's a real pain to get those off without a doctor's help. Oh, hey, I don't think I've been inside of this tree. Is this another one of these um, cool glowstone trees? Yay, it's a lapis tree. Yeah, pliers. They're like things that you use for like bending wires. Yeah, but seriously, don't do that. Instead, be good friends with your parents. This has been a pretty unproductive reconnaissance trip. So I'm going to go ahead and try and get to bed before all the mobs spawn. And then uh, try and do another round. So hopefully this will be a relatively safe and happy journey. Although there's a lot of darkness falling all around me. There's a lot of mobs. I've only got so many more torches. Uh, somebody is like dropping arrows next to me. I don't know. They really need to, you know, put those in a pocket or something so they don't lose them. How are we doing? Are we going to beat the sun? The sun is setting behind us. I don't want to turn around to look at the sun because I'm too busy worrying about that creeper. That creeper is the one I'm worried about. Oh, that's an enderman in a ton of darkness. Come on, come on, come on. Run. Okay, I see one of my torches there. Yeah, the problem is you can't fix the nether portal, um, which is the way I came. It's this way. This way is the way I came. So now that the sun has risen, we're going to go ahead and wander south here in hopes of illuminating the rest of our map. Now, I've got some thoughts. Oh, that's a creeper. I actually had a meetup in Nashville today with some folks um, who are really awesome, and I was kind of thinking a little bit about talking about that. It's always great to meet you guys in person, and honestly, if you want the inside scoop on what's going on in my head, there's no better way than to like come hang out with me at a convention or at a, an event or something like that. And I was talking to them a little bit about some of my upcoming project ideas. Um, come January, February, I've got some new stuff I'm thinking about doing. And it's going to be very Joe Hills, and it's not going to be necessarily very anybody else. So, like, sometimes I make things that I think are a good idea that everybody else is like, oh my goodness, that's, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. That's what, the, that's how they respond, and also there's a bunch of spiders. Okay. Whoa, and a creeper. Why am I not running? Okay, this tree is new. I don't think I've seen this one before. Ah, spiders. And everybody else. Okay, okay. So we found a new tree, and we managed to get knocked up to the top of it. And, okay, this is about to go badly. I might be about to have my first death on the on the map. Hoping to avoid that. Let's just run. Just run. Just run. Just run. Okay, take a second to eat. Okay. Where did I end up? Okay, so I'm here-ish. That's cool. So, anyway, I don't think I have the sprint button bound, guys. Um, so let's get, let's get my health back up a little bit before we attempt to retake that area. That was terrifying. Oh, hey, what's that? That looks like stone. Stone tends to be interesting and possibly have wool in it. Huh, some sort of interest in structure. Okay. So anyway, I was saying that I've got some ideas for some new projects. Oh, this is so cool. What is this? And I'm very excited to show you guys once they're actually live. But I'm trying to do things like... I don't want to be like, oh, okay, I'm doing this thing because B-double-O does it and it's cool for him. I want to do things that are like very Joe Hills, very me. Like, so people who like what I do because it's the way that I do it are going to love these things. People who are like, oh, I like that you're on Hermitcraft because I like when people are on Hermitcraft and everybody on Hermitcraft should be identical. Uh, yeah, you're not going to really enjoy this. So what is this? Is this the exit to, whoa, what is that? Oh, this is terrifying. Let's light that up a little bit better. Purple wool. Awesome. Okay, we're getting out of here. Fishy cheese rats. Joe Hills, you're the only guy I know who's never fallen into a routine. Actually, that's what I was going to talk about, is I've totally fallen into a routine. Like, the last nine months, essentially since we had the baby, 
I really have not been as creative as I think you guys deserve. And, you know, if you look at my numbers on my videos, you know, a lot of subs have just kind of stopped watching. And I don't blame them because I've lacked the energy and the initiative and the creativity that I used to have. And so I've kind of been doing like more of the same stuff that worked in the past rather than trying to create new stuff that might or might not work. And so, you know, starting in around January, we're going to see a lot more stuff that might not work. But if it does, it'll be totally different. And if it doesn't, it'll be totally different. And, you know, I just I want to make sure that when you guys come to my channel, you don't know what to expect. Like, there are some people who make stuff that's, like, comfort food, where, like, every time you go to their thing, you, you know what you're going to get. But I want you to come to my channel because you want to be surprised. And if you're somebody who doesn't want to come to my channel to be surprised, go watch someone else's channel, because you're, you're never going to like what I make. Okay, I'm on the wrong side of this building. This is bad. This is bad. Oh, thank you. Let's get out of here. How am I on this side of the building? Where is my gaps in the wall? Let's just climb up here. Whatever. Okay. Woo. Okay, we made it. Okay, so I'm safely back inside the walls here. And I've got my wool. I've got my ladder that's hard to walk on because of the fence. And I'm just super excited to be able to throw something new up on my victory monument. Here we go. Purple wool, light gray wool, purple. And we found that in the weird rocky structure. People are going to think that's the museum from Philadelphia, not the museum from Philadelphia. 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 Done. Light it up. Awesome. So there we go. A little bit more progress on our monument. We are still missing a few of the wools. The magenta wool. The light gray wool. The brown, the green, the red, the black. But you know what? We're going to get them. We have been making great progress so far. We've actually been getting one wool per video, which it's like a personal best on a super hostile map. Of course, I do have the benefit of having the entire world here with me being awesome. So thank you, the world, for showing up for the video. If you want to say keep adventuring, go ahead and do that now. Because me, well, I got to climb up these stairs. I got to go up to the very top of the pyramid because it is way cooler up there than down here. And I got to look over my jungly domain and say... Until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring.